guys. Well, here we are in, today in Fusion 360, and I'm going to be working on some last-minute Christmas gifts. Now, as you saw in the video introduction, what this is is a, a necklace rack or jewelry rack for, this one happens to be for my daughter, but I'm going to be doing several of them for family and friends. Uh, this is an interesting project because we're going to be using uh, text in Fusion 360, and there are a couple of interesting things that uh, I found out while working on this project that I thought I would share with you. So first off is the, the first thing that we have to do is make some of these pins. Uh, these pins happen to be turned from some 3 16 inch rivets. So you can see what these rivets start out looking like. They've got a pretty good size head on them. And then we're going to be turning them down to this. I've turned these before for uh, some other parts that I make, but this one happens to be a little bit different because I changed the design slightly and rounded over the head a little bit. Now these particular rivets that I'm using have a real large head to them. And so what I've done here is I've designed this in two different setups. So the first setup here, we're going to uh, be machining off this large head. So basically what we're doing is we're just going to rough, roughing this head down and getting the shape here. Uh, in the next process, we're going to be actually turning the profile here. Then we're going to come back and thread this. This happens to be 1032. Uh, you could use M5. My original one was designed for M5, but uh, this one is uh, 1032. And then we're just going to part it off. Of course, you can 3D print this. If you'd rather not do it out of aluminum, this is a perfect gift that would be uh, an excellent project for a 3D printer. But not everyone has a 3D printer. Of course, not everyone has a CNC milling machine as well. So if this is something that you're interested in, then, of course, um, you've got a couple of options there. That's basically it here for the rivet. Let me see if we can just kind of take you through the steps here, how I drew this up. So I did the head, and then I wanted to have this little bit of a recess here. And then, of course, the shaft, 3 16 Rounded off the head here. Added some threads. Came back and did some uh, profiling there. Rotated it here to get the orientation right. And then did a little bit more here to round off this uh, head pretty straightforward. Uh, you can design this pin however you would like. Uh, you could turn this from bar stock. I just happen to have these rivets here. Now the rivets that I'm actually using this from are like real soft 1100 series material so they do flex a little bit in the lathe but I'm taking really light passes and I was able to uh, work that out and get them turned on the G0602. So in this first part, let's just go out to the G0602 and we'll turn some of these rivets and you'll see what uh, that process looks like. All right, guys. So we're on the G0602. The first operation here is we're just going to uh, rough this head down and get it uh, to a smaller diameter. It's about half inch diameter starting off and we wanna, we're just kind of gonna just keep taking some passes here and round this, uh, the head of this rivet off. You can see it flexing a little bit, uh, so we're taking really light passes here to kind of prevent that a little bit. This is very soft 1100 series aluminum, so it's, um, and we've got quite a bit sticking out, so it just flexes a little bit. So I'm just taking really, really small passes so that it doesn't break off or bend. We're going front to back and then back to front to round that off. And then now we're going to start the profiling operation. Again, we're just taking really light passes here. Thank you. 
Now we're changing over to our threading tool. I really like this um, Altros turret. It works really well. And best of all, it frees me up so that I can actually, in, on this particular part, what I'm doing in between runs is it leaves a little uh, pin on the end of this from the parting operation. So what I'm doing is I'm just filing that down and finishing these little rivets off. Uh, now for the parting operation. And then we're going to move to a position where I can just take this piece out and put another piece in, pull it up against the parting tool, and I'm all set. Here's a different angle. You can kind of see the turret rotating there. Working really good, and it's the, the best thing about it is both of my machines are now fully operated which gives me a lot of free time. In next week's video, I'll, I'm going to post the uh, actual text and we'll finish this little project off. Guys, I want to thank you for watching my videos. If you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on that little subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Also click on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. If it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. Guys. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you like the video. And most importantly, 